Lesson 9 Page Layouts In this lesson we'll be covering what is a page layout as well as editing page layouts. Page Layouts We can edit the way a page looks using the page editor. This allows us to add and remove fields on a page, rearrange the fields, make them required or read only, create sections and spacing, as well as edit related lists for the page. To edit the page layout, you can simply open up a record such as an account or contact and click on the edit layout link. In this example, let's open a person account record and edit the page layout. When we click on the edit layout link, this opens the page layout editor. At the top of the page, we can see the page that we will be changing. You could have multiple page layouts set up for different objects. And then we can see all of the fields that are available for us to use on this page. This includes all standard Salesforce v fields as well as all custom fields that have been created as part of your ANZ mobile package and any custom fields that you have created yourself. To add a new field to the page, you can simply select the field and then drag it to the page. Let's say we would like to record our client's job title, for example. To do this, we would add the title field to the page. Let's scroll over and find the title field. Now we can drag it down to our page. And once we've added fields to the page, we can reposition them by dragging them around. In this case, let's move the job title field underneath the employer business name field. We can also remove fields from the page layout by dragging them off of the page layout area into the field selection area or using the remove icon. Let's remove the website field. From the page layout, we are also able to make fields required, which means the record cannot be saved without having a value in the field, or we can make them read only, which means the field can be seen but not edited. Required fields are indicated on the page layout with a red asterisk, and read, read only fields are indicated with a lock. You can control which fields are required or read only using the tool icon that appears next to the fields in the page editor. Let's do this for the email field. From here we can make the field read only by checking the read only checkbox or we can make it required. Let's make the field required. We can see now that it has a red asterisk. We can also add sections and spacing to the page. For example, if we'd like to add some space between two fields, we can drag the blank space option onto the page between the fields to separate them. Let's drag the blank space option between our type and referrer fields. To create a section on the page, that is a grouping of fields that sit together under a heading, we can drag the section option onto the page. Let's create a section to record communication preferences. Give the section a name. We can choose to show the section name upon detail and edit pages, as well as whether it will be a one column or two column section and the tab key order. The tab key order means where the cursor moves between the fields when using the tab key on your keyboard. Let's have it so that it's moving from top to bottom. We can now add fields to our new section. Let's add the do not call email opt-out and fax opt-out fields. We can also drag this entire section down to the bottom of the page.
Another thing that we can do in our page editor is add or remove related lists or change their order and contents of the lists. Let's look at our guarantors related list for example. From here we can edit this list using the tool icon. In this case we probably want to know what stage the application is for this guarantor. So let's add the stage field to the related list. We simply select it from the available fields and move it over to the selected fields. And then we can use the OK button to add that to the, to the related list. We may also want to reposition this list so that it appears higher on the page. Now that we have made some changes to our page layout, let's save these changes and have a look at what the page looks like for our person account. We can see firstly that we've got some space between our type and referrer fields. We can see that the website field has been removed, the title field has been added, and in this case, the new section that we created for communication preferences is not displaying. This is because the fields that we added to that section are not actually visible to us. If we edit the page, We can see that the email field is also now a required field. And if we scroll down we can see our applications guarantor related list has been placed higher on the page.